you like comment share and subscribe to this channel now today i want to see a question um on the cash book and to extract a trial balance okay so um we have done um introduction video on cash book and trial balance if you have not seen that i'll drop it up here click on this you will see that of um, cash book and also trial balance now the question said the following balances were extracted from the records of amubi nigeria limited as at 31st december 2004 we have motor van stock debtors um for vincent and one day we have bank cash capital the trade creditors somolo and kanye kanra they say additional information the following transaction took place in 2005 okay that is 2004 and this other ones for 2005 we have cash sales credit sales to gmo 75 bought goods on credit from somolo 4000 cash purchases 26 vincent paid by check 30,000. Paid by check to Somolu 14,000. Received from one day a check in settlement of account 27,000. Paid to Kanra by check in full settlement of his account 32,000. Withdrawn for personal use. Cash of 25. You are required to open a two column cash book for the cash book and other necessary ledger accounts to record the above transaction and II extract a trial balance as at 31st December 2005. Okay? So, we want to prepare this. Now, they said we should open a two column cash book. So, um, we have done two column cash book also. Check it up here to see the introduction. So, the two column cash book is a cash book that have um, column for cash and bank. So, preparing this now, we have prepared our two column cash book. Okay. So, before we start, the first thing they said we should um, post in a cash book and other ledger account and extract a trial balance. Okay. So, let's start. Now, the first thing we should do, let's open. Let's open this um, transaction. Remember, this is 31st December 2004. So all these are opening balance of their respective accounts. Okay, why did the transaction for the particular year? So let's open this account, this respective account. Let's open it one after the other. Okay, let's do that. Open it one after the other so that it will be better. So that of debtors, let's start, let me start from debtors. That of debtors would be for sales ledger. Okay, it will be for sales uh, ledger for the debtors. So, if I have my sales ledger, okay, the sales ledger I will have um, for V cent. Okay. Why the next one, the few cent, the balance brought for debt of state eight thousand. All debtors have a debit balance. So I have balance brought forward as thirty eight thousand. Okay. So I want to open the opening balances for all this account. Then the other debt for here will be one day. Okay. One day also have a balance of thirty thousand. So we have balance brought forward thirty thousand. Okay. So that is um, the debtors, the opening balance. Now also we have a trade creditors here. Okay, and the creditors will go out as a purchases ledger. So let's prepare a purchases ledger. Um, we have Somolu. Our creditors have a credit balance, so this will be credit balance. So we have balance brought for twenty-four thousand. Okay. So next one also will be Kara. Kara balance brought forward thirty six thousand. Okay, now let's open the other ones. Now we have motor van here. Let's open for the motor van account. Okay, so we have um, 
motor vans and assets, a fixed assets, or fixed or, or assets have a debit balance, so have balance brought forward 162,000. Okay, then we have a stock. We we'll have stock is an asset, it has a debit balance 15,000. Remember, these are the opening balances of the individual account. So we have done motor vehicle, we have done stock, we have done debt first, that's the sales ledger, the bank and cash. The bank and cash should be the cash book, okay? Will be for the cash book. So we we'll now have a cash book, a balance brought forward. For cash, in the cash column is 200. And the bank is 5,000, okay? So we proceed. Then capital, capital is 190,200. So we'll have capital here. So we'll have the balance brought forward, 190,200. Okay. So the next one, we have for trade creditors. We have done for trade creditors, which is this. Okay. So now we have done the opening balances of all these transactions. Now let's treat the um, transaction for the year. Now the first one says cash sales. Remember, all this item will, um, correspond to the double entry principle. The double entry principle says that for every debit entry, there must be a corresponding credit entry and vice versa. If you have not seen double entry, please check up here. You will see it. Okay. So we have cash sales, which is 6,000. Cash sales, sales made with cash. Two accounts that will be affected is the cash account and the sales account. So we'll debit the cash account, sales, and the cash column. As how much six thousand okay so open a sales account sales account is referring from um, sales ledger okay so open a sales account so we'll have a sales account so the debit is here the corresponding entry will come to the credit side here so we'll have cash as six thousand okay so that we have done with that the next one credit sales to gmo seven five credit sales to gmo seven five that means they sold to gmo so it means that during the year they now have a new um debtor so remember the debtor is under the sales ledger so we we'll have a new debtor here gmo the GMO does not have any balance at the previous sale. That's why it did not appear earlier. Okay? So they say credit sales to GMO. And all sales that are on credit do not come to the what? Um, do not come to the cash book. It pass through the what? The day book. Okay? It pass through the day book. So um, credit sales to GMO. So GMO received it. Okay? So it will come here as credit sales. That is 7.5. Then the corresponding entry will go to the sales account on credit. The sales account shows the totality of all sales, both cash and credit. So we have credit um, that is coming from GMO. Okay, GMO. Okay, that's how much? Seven, five. Okay, so the next one, bought goods on credit from Somolu, that is purchases on credit from Somolu. Um, we already have it here. Um, Somolu have um, a balance at the previous year. So they bought goods from Somolu 4,000. Okay, so that's credit purchase. So Somolu gave, so we have credit purchases here, 4,000. Okay, so the corresponding entry now will not come to the what purchases account. Okay, it will come to the purchases account. So we we'll have the purchases account. So I have the purchases accounts. So um, credit sales are four thousand. So the corresponding entry will come here at Somolu Credit. How much is it? It is four thousand. Okay. So that is that. The next one, cash purchases two six. Okay. Now they make purchases on cash basis. So everything that is cash will pass through the what the cash book. So come here and write the purchases. And it will be under the cash column, 2,600. 
and the corresponding entry will come to the purchases account. Okay, that is for what the cash. So you see, it's um, transaction have two accounts that is affecting. So we'll come here, write cash two thousand six hundred. Okay, so the next one, Vicent paid by check thirty thousand. Vicent paid by check. So we we'll receive from Vicent. So um, it will come to the cash book under the bank column. So write Vicent we received from Vicent by check. So it will come here under the bank column as thirty thousand. Okay. So the corresponding entry will come to the word Vicent because it's the word a debtor. Look at it here. So come here and it will be bank thirty thousand. Okay. So the next one paid check to Shomolu. We paid check to Shomolu fourteen thousand. So it will come here. Somolu check. It will be under the bank column. Fourteen thousand. Okay. So the corresponding entry will come to the word Somolu account, which is here. So I have Somo. Um, we have bank. Okay. We have bank. 14,000. Okay. So the next one, they say receive from one day a check in full sort settlement of our account, 27,000. Receive from one day a check in full settlement of our account, 27,000. You should be careful at this point. Remember, one day is only not 30,000. But they said we are receiving 27,000 in full settlement of our account. What that means is that there's a discount that was given to one day. If they say they are receiving in full settlement, that means it's no longer owing. It means we are allowed a discount. Okay, but it was not stated there. But you should know as an accountant when such statement is being made to someone owing us. Okay, so they said receive a check from one day twenty seven thousand. Okay, so in this situation now, we will now have one day. One day, they said a check of twenty seven thousand. Twenty seven thousand. Okay. So, if we now have the corresponding entry, will come here, twenty-seven thousand. Okay. So, right, bank as what twenty-seven thousand. Okay. So, for this account to balance automatically, it's supposed to be thirty thousand. It means we are allowed a discount. So, we have a discount allowed. Of what three thousand? Remember, he's owing us thirty thousand as what as one of our debtor under the sales ledger. So they said he paid twenty seven thousand in full settlement. That means he's no longer owing. Okay. So if he's no longer owing, so it means that this should be thirty thousand. A discount was allowed, so this should be thirty thousand. Okay. So it means definitely that we open a discount allowed account. So we now have here. A discount allowed account. Remember, they said all necessary ledger that will be posted to the what trial balance. So discount allowed account. So it will come here as what one day three thousand. Okay. So we'll move to the next one. Pay to Kara by check a full settlement of his account. We paid also to somebody that we are owing. Kara is our creditor. We paid Kara by checking full settlement of his account thirty two thousand. We are owing Kara thirty six thousand. But he said we paid this in full settlement. That means we are no longer owing. Okay. So the first thing is it will be posted there. Kara we pay to him by check how much thirty two thousand thirty two thousand. Okay. In full settlement of his account. So the corresponding entry will come to Kara, which is a bank. Okay, so if it's come here, Kanga Bank has how much? 32,000. If they send in full settlement, it means we are no longer owing him. So it means we receive a discount from him. So it means we have a discount received. The same way we are allowed a discount here. So discount received is 4,000 because we are owing him 36. So we now have 36,000 here. 36,000 here. So this account is closed automatically, no balance carried out. So we now open a discount receive account. So a discount received account. Okay. 
So this can't receive account. So from here now, we have um, debit here. The corresponding entry will come here on the credit side. And it will be camera, which is what? 4,000. Okay. So the next one said, we're drawn for personal use cash 25. We're drawn for personal use cash 25. Okay. So that's what the drawings. So drawings will be here. Drawings, cash 25. So we'll have 25 here. Okay, so the corresponding entry will come to the drawings account. So we'll have drawings account. Okay, so if we have drawings account, so we have cash here. So we'll have cash two five. Okay, so that is the whole transaction. Okay, so it is now to balance the account and also to extract a what a trial balance. Okay, now let's balance the account. Okay, so let's start from the, the cash book. So we'll start from the cash book. If we start from this part, the debit side, and let's add up 30,000 plus. 27,000 plus 5,000. This will give us 62,000. And this will give us 6,200. Okay? So the debit side is greater than this. So we're going to deduct 62,000 minus 32 and also minus 14. It will give us... So we'll have a balance carried down here as 16,000. So this will give us 62,000. Okay? So if we now have... This is 2, 6 plus 2, 5. Plus two five deducted from six thousand two hundred, so this will give us one thousand one hundred. Okay, so the balance carried out for cash and bank one one and sixteen thousand. So we'll come to the sales ledger. So this is greater than this. So we have a balance carried down here of eight thousand. So this is thirty eight thousand. This is thirty eight thousand. Okay, so this one is already balanced. So no balance in figure. So GMO seven five. Okay. So the sales ledger is the percent and GMO that is valid. So we have this. 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 So we'll check here. Shomolu. So this should be twenty eight thousand. Okay. So we we'll have a balance carried down of fourteen thousand. To make this twenty eight thousand, so I have balance brought down here as fourteen thousand. So his account is still open. His account is closed. Okay, Kanga account is closed. So I have motor fund stock capital, then the sales account. So we have six thousand plus seven five. Six thousand plus seven five. That is thirteen five. So we have balance carried down of 13.5 13, 13.5 5. so our balance brought down 13.5 okay so this is 4,000 plus 2.6 we have 6.6 six. so our balance carried down of 6.6 6.6 six. Six, six. Okay, so we have a balance brought down here of six six. Okay, so that's how to balance the account. So the next thing now is to prepare the trial balance. Now uh, we're going to prepare the trial balance with this figure we have here. Okay, so we're going to start with the trial balance, debit and credit. So the first item, let's have our capital. So what's the capital here? One ninety two hundred. Credit 190200. Okay, now let's go to our sales. Okay, let's go to our sales. Sales is 13.5 credit. So we have sales 13.5 credit. The next one is purchases. Purchases is 6, six debit, 6600 debit. Okay. Now let's go to discount allowed. 
we have discount allowed debit 3000 discount receive credit 4000 okay drawings 25 debit then motor van 162,000 debit stock 15,000 debit so the next one is our cash cash is 1,100 cash so the next one is our cash. Cash is 1,100. And our bank is 16,000. Okay. So um, our debtors, our debtors, remember the debtors is from the sales ledger. So we'll just have this account open and um, this account, remember this one is closed. So it is 8,000 plus 75. So 8,000 plus 75. That is 15,5. So debtors, 15,5. And we have our creditors. Creditors is a purchases ledger. Okay. We have this remaining. Remember, this account has been closed. So creditors has 14,000. Okay. So Okay. So if we now add up, it must balance automatically. If it doesn't, then what we have done is wrong because the trial balance is an arithmetic accuracy to check the ledger. Okay, It's a list of debit and credit balances extracted from the, word, the ledger to test the arithmetic accuracy. The, balance, the trial balance does the same work the balance sheet does. Okay, So if we now add up this 190, 200 plus 13.5 plus... 4,000 plus 14,000 so we have 221,700 credit now let's debit 6,600 plus 3,000 plus 25 plus 162,000 plus 15,000 plus 1,100 plus 16,000 plus 15,5 so the same 221,700 so what we did is actually correct okay thank you for watching this make sure you like comment and share this video and i know because of this there are rules guiding trial balance if you are very confused on how we got this trial balance well how we debited and credited don't worry there's a video i did for you that you will see how we did it the rules guiding this from scratch look at this video now at the right touch it and watch it now touch it thank you very much